the new look European Rally Championship, the opening round of the Winter Thriller. Yes, Austria, the Yenna Rally, and why not? First round of 13 that makes up this year's season. Welcome to Austria. The opening round, indeed, of the FIA European Rally Championship. Yenna Rally has a huge history behind it, based in Friedstadt in Upper Austria. This rally celebrating its 30th anniversary, and it's great to be competing here. 60 crews have arrived for the main international event, uh, featuring 18 special stages over a competitive distance of 248.46 kilometres. Further 33 crews set to tackle the national level rallies. Honours for the Austrian Championship and the Czech Championship up for grabs. And Jan Kipetsky on leg one conditions on this all asphalt event, not that we see much of it. Uh, inconsistent to say the least. Ten stages that could range from heavy snow to damp asphalt. And it makes tyre choice a real brain teaser for all the drivers. And no mistake, though, for the 2012 event winner, Jan Kipetsky, after 10 stages, the Skoda Fabia driver leading the rally and uh, doing so with a reasonable amount of comfort. Yes, never appearing to be pushing too hard, driving well within himself. Others, well, they had their moments. Brian Bouffier was one of those, but uh, was the only one to challenge Kopetsky, really, setting a staggering time in the rain and the fog. Eighth best at one point, but to narrowing Kopetsky's advantage to 9.4 seconds, the rain continued on the final two night stages. Bouffier finishing the first leg 20.2 seconds behind the leader. Quite a gap. Raymond Bongschlager, you'll be hearing a lot more of him, a champion of Austria. We've got the Czech champion, Jan Kopetsky, of course. Uh, Ketjan Kejatanovic, uh, the Polish champion, and the Romanian champion, Francois Delacour. Yeah, I know he's French. Uh, finally, uh, Bongschlager decided to focus on preserving his lead in the domestic championship rather than just trying to reclaim top spot. Uh, finished uh, third behind Bouffier at the end of day one and Kopetsky. French legend Francois Delacour is here, though, as well, sniffing at the heels of the Skodas, and it's always a pleasure to be on board with this man. A veteran he may well be, but he's fabulous. Knows a bit about tyre choice as well. If you watched the Monty a couple of years ago, he produced a legendary performance with his skill at tyre selection. Did a cross-match early on. Unpredictable first loop stages, and then having to improvise and repair his Persia gear lever. Yes, uh, after it broke on one of the sectors. His misfortune was compounded by uh, a minute's worth of penalties following a timing error by the crew. Oh, no. Uh, Delacour then down in fifth place. Kopetsky, Bouffier, Baumschlanger, Peck doing a great job in the Mini Cooper. Etanovic as well, Subaru and Pretza leading a, a huge charge. A couple of e Evo 9s behind him, Herash and Olasek doing great work. So, leg two, eight special stages for the second leg of the round in Freidstadt. Weather, cloudy, roads, wet, temperatures, just around about six Celsius. Not bad. Guttau. Mm. 8.27 kilometres. And just after 7.38 local time. Um, tea and blue vine handed out to just about everybody, uh, keeping it clean in the cars. First uh, stage of the leg, the morning call for the teams, and um, for each that they had to leave at uh, 6.50, so up around about 5-ish, I guess, uh, 5.30, that kind of thing, to get some breakfast inside of them. Ice on the road. Fifth out there was uh, Baumschlanger. A uh, big moment around about one kilometre from the finish. Late on the break, touched some mud, was lucky not to go off-road, uh, but managed to be second quickest. Still third overall, now 17.2 seconds behind Bouffier. Bouffier, six on the road, 3.8 slower than the fastest time, and 1.5 seconds slower than Baumschlanger. Uh, was uh, a bit surprised, apparently, by the slippery roads. Well, Bouffier knows how to drive in mixed conditions. The light pod doesn't seem to be illuminated. What's happening? Uh, maybe he's seeing more than we are. It was there, the uh, film, uh, the camera retina, uh, not quite wide enough. Jan Kopetsky, that name striking fear into those around him. Seventh on the road, 4.38.5, and beginning leg two with the fastest time. Now two seconds ahead of Bouffier, and still comfortable at the wheel. Mm. 
talent at work. Uh, Unter Weissenbach. Let's say it again. 13.53 kilometres, uh, 8.35, I promise. Uh, Beppo Harash in his Mitsubishi Lancer, second on the road, eighth quickest. Uh, not happy about his pace, however. Well, I don't know whether that was uh, a lack of trust in the notes or just the surface. Who knows? The longer wheelbase on the Lancer, though, can just uh, cause a few nerves, especially in the skittery conditions. Still going well, though. As was Francois Delacour, Peugeot 207 underneath him. Third quickest on the road, fifth quickest overall. Spin at the beginning of the stage, though, uh, did not make it a good one. Could have been better. Said he was sleeping. It was an early start and was not happy with himself by the end. Well, the ultimate competitors, they are their own worst critics. Fifth overall, though. Well, looked pretty quick to us. Uh, Vaclav Pesh in the, the Mini, a busy chasing him down on the road. Fourth on the road, in fact, third quickest, and 3.5 seconds quicker than Delacour. Goodness me, some great onboard shots here. You see just how close they're making some of these cuts, and uh, unprotected buildings there to catch you out. Deep cuts paying off. Good job. Fourth overall, 28 seconds, 28.3 seconds ahead of Delacour. Brian Bouffier uh, setting the fastest time on this stage 12 and pushing hard as well. 7.3 seconds quicker than Kipetsky. Running himself and his Peugeot 207. Now 16.7 seconds behind Kipetsky overall. Work to do then. Through the gate, and, uh, almost losing the back end. Kajetan Kajetanovic. Polish champion in Burak, eighth on the road, seventh quickest though in their Subaru Impreza, 1.8 seconds quicker than Harash, and leading the ERC Production Car Cup, 36 seconds ahead of Harash. That's a country mile. Kopetsky then, leading Bouffier by 16.7 seconds, Baumschlager, 46.9, I like saying that, Pesh and Delacour making up the top five. So they stand after 12, in a minute we'll be back in Austria for more ERC action, stay with us. Welcome back. Austria, second stage 13. Uh, second uh, stage 13. Uh, second leg, I should say. Shortest of the rally stages. Uh, we're in Konigsvein. Yes. 7.79 kilometres. And just after 10 past 9 in the morning. It's nice round here. And it's challenging downstairs. Raymond Baumschlanger. You have to finish uh, second and uh, fourth in the first two stages of the day. Baumschlanger setting the fastest time of 13, a 509.8. He was angry, wanted to do something, and did. Still third overall, but uh, with only 47, uh, 42.7 seconds behind the leader, and still 80 kilometers to go before the end of this rally. He has belief and ability. Brian Bouffier, we know about him. We know he's good. Uh, we know he's good on bad surfaces. Yes. Starting on the road, right behind Baumschlanger, Brian Bouffier, second quickest on the stage, losing only 1.8 to the Austrian, who knows these roads, let's not forget, so Bouffier really started to strut his stuff. 
fighting and advantage in the overall classification of 28.4 in that second spot. So a bit of a cushion, you might say. How much you need a cushion, especially when you're having your backside kicked? And uh, Jan Kapetsky is a man who's quite happy to dish it out to everybody. Starting after Bouffier on the road, the leader of the rally, Kapetsky finishing fourth on this stage, using that cushion there, uh, keeping his first place overall 14.3 in front of Bouffier, losing only 2.4 seconds to the Frenchman. This is class, you know. Beppu Harash making the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9 sing. I know there's more Evos after that, but uh, he likes the 9. Apparently it's easier to work on and uh, adapt, and there's a lot of parts available, and sometimes you need them if you're not as good as he is. Very good performance for uh, Harash in his Mitsubishi, who uh, takes the third fastest time in front of seven S2000 cars. Now that is impressive. Local driver pushing very hard, trying to win the production car cup and also getting himself into sixth place overall. Time for the salute, I think. This is uh, Kayatan, uh, Kayatanovic. It's a long name. And uh, you thought it might be a long rally for him, but he's going very well. Six overall, leader in the production car cup in his Subaru. And the position's not changing after stage 13. Let's have a look at this great production car battle using Simulcan. We like this. Kiyotanovic against Harash. Two very different vehicles. Two names of old. Remember the old battles of Subaru and Mitsubishi. Well, rekindled here in the European Rally Championship. Nice to see, eh? Clearly see where Harash was coming from, though. Terrific Mitsubishi, quicker on the straights when it came to the technical stuff. Well, it's the exit speed, absolutely nailed as well by Harash. Look at that. <laughs> he meant business. Let's check him out, shall we? Standings up to stage 13, the top 10. Uh, Kapetsky then, 14.3 his lead over Bouffier. Baumschlanger, 42.7, uh, trailing. Bouffier now, and uh, Bouffier looking untouchable, but uh, you never know what baumschlanger has got. He is local, let's not forget. Tanovic there with the Harash clipping at his heels. Great turnout, incidentally, despite the leaden skies yesterday. Not much rain. Uh, I know we got a little bit and started to just tip uh, ever so slightly. Um, in fact, we did have quite a lot last night, but the rain that came today, light. Almost cleansing. Uh, Jan Kapetsky, fastest time, 5.8 seconds quicker than Bouffier. Kapetsky battling back, though, 20 seconds lead over Bouffier. Not bad. By the time we got to 15, Francois Delacour making a lot of cuts, bringing out a lot of stones. Have that as a present if you're following him. But got himself a puncture as a result. Eight kilometres from the stage finish. Won't be able to challenge Pesh for that fourth place overall, which is a shame. Uh, seventh, then, for him. The drama on stage 15, not at all over. So Delacour riding on the rim, if uh, not at that particular point. Brian Bouffier fighting hard to maintain the pressure on Kopetsky, but lost time in this stage. Span at 3K from the finish. Fifth quickest only, 5.6 seconds behind the quickest time, but 1.4 seconds ahead of Baumschlanger. There you go. It's not an excursion you'd hope for. Not in this game, anyway. Wouldn't be too bad on the deck out. Hope you've been watching that as well here on Eurosport. It's a busy old time if you're a rally fan, which is good. So, Brian Bouffier, bitten bit by the course on the day. Uh, coming behind him, Skoda Fabia of Jan Kopetsky. Kopetsky.